Welcome to Semi Vintage. Today, we're looking at the Jinhao Centennial, or sometimes called the Jinhao Duofo, after the classic Parker design it emulates. We've covered Jinhao before, a relatively recent manufacturer that makes affordable pens. This one, however, is a little north of their usual market segment. Uh, pricing for this particular one was $18.09 Singaporean or $13.30 American. A slight price drop from when it was first launched. Something I've noticed with pens in this price range. Uh, more room for adjustment compared to the lower end models, perhaps. We know Jin Hao is trying to climb the value chain. So how about this one? First up, some measurements. Not ideal for posting. A little too unwieldy, so if you must post, this may not be a pen for you. For our size comparison, we have our Moonman M8, because it's pretty, and the growing Jin Hao family. Uh, incomplete, but good enough for this purpose. The 51A, 992, Shark 993, 996, X750, Chunky Lad 159, and the Centennial. Uh, from the left to the right. Close up, we see the Jin Hao logo of a chariot on a clip. Rather functional, not too stiff. Jin Hao on the band, without the usual model number. Flat on both ends. Metal insert on the top of the cap, Jin Hao Chariot logo. I picked the red koi finish for resin option because I liked how it looked in the pictures. The red is rather opaque, whilst the white bits are a little iridescent in different lighting angles. But if you look closely, you can see it shows the threading, which may put some people off. Given the nature of the pattern resins, you may or may not see the same in yours if you decide to order one. Takes quite a few turns to unscrew the cap. A standard number 6 Jin Hao Fu Day Nid in dual tone. You can get it in other options, but I happen to like this one. Easily swappable. Comes with a standard Jin Hao converter. Has an O-ring, but these threads are metal. So eyedropper conversions might not be optimal. Plastic on metal threads might also be a little concerning if you're expecting this pen to last forever. Now let's have a writing sample.
well, is it worth it? To be honest, I'm a little torn on this one. For one, I'm used to Jin Hao fountain pens at a third or a fifth of this price, so perhaps I feel a little more critical than usual. Whether a fancier finish is worth the premium is highly subjective. It writes pretty well, so if you like the design then maybe. That's all for this one. See you in the next video. Stay safe out there. Bye.